I am Anil Kumar and now let us explore how to solve optimization questions. So we have taken up five questions out of them. Here is the solution of the second one. Express 18 as sum of two positive numbers where product of first by square of the other is as large as possible. So we are looking for sum of two positive numbers. So we know 18 is sum of two positive numbers. So at times you can always say let the two numbers be x and y. So you say x plus y is equals to 18 and then you will say y equals to 18 minus x, right? So that way is you effectively get that the two numbers are x and 18 minus x. You get the idea, right? So always in the sum question, uh, the two numbers, you know, the sum is 18. You could have taken uh, the two numbers as x and 18 minus x itself to start with. You save time and simpler equations. Okay, so let's begin. Anyway, you could start with two variables or you could write your equation with one variable. It is up to you. So let's read the question once again. Express 18 as sum of two positive numbers where product of first by square of other is as large as possible. So product of first by square of the other, right? So in this case, so we are looking for product of first by square of the other. So 18 minus x whole square. We want that to be maximum. So that is your question. Well, these numbers could have been interchanged, right? So we could have written either way. It doesn't matter, right? But in any case, I am going for a difficult solution this time. Okay. Now, what we can do is we can either expand this or apply the product rule. Okay. So it's all up to you. So we'll do, we'll find the derivative with respect to x and we will apply the product rule. So product rule says derivative of first times the other, which is 18 minus x whole square plus first number times derivative of the second, which is 2 times 18 minus x times minus 1. Now this should be 0 for maximum or minimum, right? So what do we get? So we have 18 minus x whole square equals 2. So we'll write 18 minus x whole square and plus and minus is minus. So we get minus 2x, 18 minus x. Do you see that? Now to solve this, 18 minus x is common. It is good to factor rather than expand. So that is also a strategy. So you're left with 18 minus x here and minus 2x on the other side. So that gives you 18 minus x times the other number will be 18 minus 3x, correct? So two solutions which can provide you with are you have 0 equals to 18 minus x times 18 minus 3x. So if you equate 18 minus x as equals to 0, you get x equals to 18, right? In that case, the other number is 0, right? So, so that is one solution. The other solution which you get is 18 minus 3x equals to 0. That means 18 equals to 3x. Dividing by 3, you get x as equals to 6. So that is the second solution. Now, if I substitute x as 18, then y will become 0 in this case. If I substitute x as 6, then y will be 18 minus 6, which is 12, right? Now, you can check the product with these two zeros. And whenever we are talking about sum as 18, we also know that the number x has limits. It could be minimum 0 and maximum 18. Now, to find the largest number, we need to find the value of product at all these points. That means P0, right? P of 18. So, these are the boundary conditions. 
and on the critical point so p dash equals to 0 that gives us the critical so we found the critical number right so at critical number which is 0 and and 6 right so, and p6 once you find these values then you can compare which one is the largest is it okay now what is p of 0 so we'll substitute these values in the given equation so here if i write 0 for x i get 0 if i write 18 for x i get 0 but if i write 6 what do i get I get 6 times 18 minus 6 whole square, correct? Or it is equals to 6 times 12 square, so which is 144, right? So, so we get 6 times 144 as equals to 864. So clearly, that is the maximum product. So largest is this, so absolute maximum is obtained when the two numbers are when x is equals to 6 and the other number y is equals to 12 and therefore that is our answer right so our answer is x and x equals to 6 or one number is 6 the other one is 12 now it's very important in such questions to find the domain of your variable since these boundary conditions help us to decide the largest number. So first find the domain, also find the critical numbers. So we found the critical numbers by equating derivative to 0 and then find their values, compare for the largest. So these are the steps involved. And then write down your answer very clearly that the two numbers are 6 and 12. I hope that helps. Thank you.